What's up guys, welcome back to my closet. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to make any running shoe feel 10 times better on your feet. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Jason. Welcome back to the Running Secrets channel. Today we're gonna to talk about shoe fitting and how to make sure any shoe feels 10 times better on your feet. But before we get too much further, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and look in the description below to find the link to the Running Secrets Facebook group. All right, let's talk shoes. So today I'm gonna to be using my Adidas Adios Boost from several years ago. This shoe itself actually has almost a thousand miles on it, which is pretty amazing. Um, but let's talk about how to help your shoes feel better on your feet. So one of the first things that I like to do uh, with myself as well as with others is if someone has a complaint about um, the shoe not fitting well, I'll tell them, look at the lacing first. So if you have here, you notice between the two shoes, this right shoe looks like it's a little bit more singed up, it's a little bit tighter, there's not much wiggle room there compared to this other shoe that's a little bit more open, open laced. So in my feet, I have really narrow feet and I need shoes to be a little bit tighter on my feet so I don't slide all over the place. Um, other people who may have a little bit wider feet or they really like a shoe but it's just a, a smidge too tight, one of the things they could do is what's called an open box lacing. So an open box lacing or an open toe lacing basically is just that. You're, you're lace, unlacing the shoe all the way down to the bottom and then skipping holes and skipping crisscrossing back and forth. So if you notice in this shoe, this looks pretty standard, pretty traditional, just go back and forth a bunch of times. So in this shoe, if you notice at the very bottom, rather than crisscross immediately, I come up one and then cross. And then I come up one and then cross again. And the same thing up here and then before I crisscross. So what that does is that opens up uh, the space down here so when you tie your shoes this will not sit as snug on your feet so sometimes if people have a lot of numbness in their feet or they uh, just kind of struggle to fit in a shoe this will help that shoe feel a little bit better uh, the second thing is what's called a heel lock so if you notice here you get to the very top of the shoe and you have these extra little holes at the top right here a lot of times people really don't know what to do with those holes besides crisscross one more time. Uh, but sometimes if your heel is sliding in the shoe and you're coming up and down a whole bunch, one of the things you can do is add this heel lock um, and that will help secure your foot more into the shoe. So all a heel lock is, is rather than crisscrossing back and forth at the very top, you come in on the same side. So you notice I come up here and you come in on the same side and come back in. So you'll have these two little bunny ears right here. So when you get those two little bunny ears, that's when you go back through on one side and back through on the other. And now you have the heel lock. So when you tie your shoes, this will help uh, keep the foot a little bit more snug and that heel won't be going anywhere. That foot will be nice and, and secure in there. Uh, the third thing uh, that can help your, your feet feel a lot better is changing the lacing on the arch. So what I mean by that is if sometimes, um, let me put my shoe right here. So sometimes in people's feet, they have this very high uh, metatarsal bone right here. So you have your metatar metatarsals and then you have your three cuneiform bones in, in your feet. And sometimes this metatarsal bone sits really high. So in my foot, you can kind of see this, this big lump right here. So sometimes if shoes are really tight or that area seems to go numb or burns or stings, what you can do is do an open box lacing over that area. So you notice here, I did that exact same thing. So there's the bump, the bump's right here. So I laced it like normal, but when I got to right here, I did that open box, I kept it on the same side, and then I crisscrossed. So when I tie my shoes now, I can keep it tight up here, my foot's not going anywhere, it's not going anywhere down here, and this area just has all that pressure relieved, and my foot's feeling a lot better. So those are three things you can do right now to help shoes feel better on your feet. Now that being said, sometimes shoes just don't work out and that's okay. Sometimes they just don't feel right. But I guarantee if, if you have a shoe you really like and maybe it's just rubbing wrong in a weird way or the, it just feels tight in strange places, try lacing before you say no to the shoe because a lot of times, the majority of the time, relacing the shoe a little bit differently will help the shoe feel better on your feet. And that's it guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. If this video has helped you in any way, please leave a comment down below, hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.